Hey guys, Tilly here from Scilanda. Have you been getting more scam emails lately? I'm not sure what's been going on in the criminal underground, but across the board, we've been receiving reports of a dramatic increase in phishing emails and business email compromise. That's been across all industries, especially those that are using Microsoft Office 365 for email. As if we don't have enough problems, now this. So although we've reached out to the FBI for guidance, what we've noticed is that a lot of these emails are coming from a compromised service, specifically Notion.io. Here's their website. Now it's a legitimate service, but they've clearly been compromised and they're now distributing malicious payloads to users' mailboxes. And worst of all, these emails have been disguised as you know, being from people who sent emails to you in the past. So here's what the uh, emails have been looking like. Uh, they look like they come from someone that you've, uh, you know, perhaps communicated with in the past. Subject maybe has like follow up, and uh, you know, it's the name of the person, and it'll say something like, "This email contains a secure link to OneDrive, so please don't share this email link with others." If you have any questions about the document, you know, or if you need to modify the documents, please let me know. And the key thing is that at the very bottom of this compromised email it actually has the person's real email signature so it looks pretty legitimate but of course the English is all screwy right and um, you know unfortunately if one of your users clicks on that link it will deliver a malicious payload onto that PC and that malicious payload it kind of sits and waits for instructions from the cyber criminal but you know, what we've been seeing happen is that the Office 365 email account gets hijacked and it starts sending email messages, spamming people in your name and delivering that same payload that got your computer infected in the first place to others. Well, what can you do? I can tell you what to do now before you have to do a cleanup, or you can wait until the reputation damage has occurred. That's your choice. So here's my takeaway. Step one is to figure out if anyone from outside of the country has been able to access, uh, successfully kind of log into your user's account without permission. To check this, log into portal.azure.com with your Office 365 admin credentials and click on Azure Active Directory. I made a picture for you. Next, go to sign ins and look at the location column. If you're seeing logins from like Africa, Denmark, Croatia, Russia, or any other country that's far away and outside of your US jurisdiction, you got a problem and it's time to take action. So step two is to turn on two-factor authentication for your Office 365 users. Now to be fair, this should really be enabled for all of your employees, but that's up to you. Either way, it's easy to turn on. Just go to the list of Office 365 users in your account, click on any user to edit, and click on Manage Multi-Factor Authentication. From that portal, you can turn on or off MFA for any of your users. Now what this is going to do is either text your users a code or require them to approve a login from the Microsoft Authenticator app before they can log into their account. Now don't worry, I know what you're thinking, it's not gonna ask them to enter a code every day, every time they log into their system. It's only when they add a new device to the account. The Authenticator app, it's free, it can be downloaded onto Android or iOS devices, but we found that text messaging is easier if you have to enable this on a lot of accounts at the same time. Step three here is to change the password on the user account and kick the criminals, I kicked over there, out of there. <laughs> now to do this, have the employee log into their Outlook web access portal. The website is outlook.office.com click on their profile image, click profile, and choose change password. Next on the same profile page, have them click sign out everywhere and click yes to confirm that they want to sign out all of their sessions and devices. This will knock the bums out of that account and stop the bleed. Step four is to eliminate any rules that the cyber criminals set up in that account that could be forwarding inbound emails to them or cleaning up their tracks. Now, these guys are smart, so there's a good chance that they set up some nasty rules in the compromised mailbox. To clean this up, from the same Outlook web portal, click on the gear icon to open settings and type in the word rules as your search term. 
Up will come the results, and the first one on the list is Inbox Rules. Go through there and make sure that the cyber criminal isn't forwarding your emails out, deleting messages, or doing anything unusual that would still allow them to damage your company's reputation. Now be on the lookout, guys, as we have been seeing this a lot lately. It's a real problem, and if you are in charge of IT, you know how quickly this can get out of control. I encourage you to make sure you have a good security awareness training program in place so that users don't get duped by these clowns. Well guys, if you feel like this video has been helpful, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. Feel like uh, someone else could benefit from it, forward it to a friend, and of course, we always appreciate user comments. I'm Attila with Scilanda. Stay safe out there.